The Proud Boys. Ho 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 have I been wanting to go after these guys for a while. What can we say about the Proud Boys? Meh, <laughs> roll clip. I think being a man requires four things. You have to have broken a heart, you have to break someone's heart, you have to beat the shit out of someone, and you have to have the shit beaten out of you. We're the big dog and we sit wherever we want because America is the best and everybody recognizes that. And maybe sometimes they're jealous, but maybe they should be. Uhuru. 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 You have one criteria, and that is that you accept that the West is the best. You have to be biologically male, but you accept the West is the best. A fringe group without a clear purpose. Every time they do something, uh, you know, slightly stupid or even blatantly racist, they don't always do it for a bigger purpose. Sometimes it's just to bother people and, you know, to, to make the media speak about them. So what is it about the Proud Boys and what do they believe in exactly? Well, the Proud Boys believe in Western chauvinism. They consider themselves uh, a sort of fraternal organization and everybody uh, shows up to somebody's house or some location. They hang out and they drink beers and they talk about chauvinistic shit, apparently. But my only issue with that whole thing is that the Proud Boys seem less like a frat and more like my weekly Dungeons and Dragons nerd meetup. Guys, I cooked all this food. Come eat. Right now. What's it like to be a male chauvinist in 2017? That's like the filet mignon of the deer. <laughs> Probably a little bit less lonely, thanks to these guys. <laughs> there is a mainstream societal attack on being a hetero cis white male. I think the Proud Boys, and I think Donald Trump for the most part, draws people that have been disenfranchised by most of the public because they don't fit in. They refuse to apologize for creating the modern world as men. No apologies for being a man. Look, guys, fine. Don't apologize for being a man. Don't apologize for being a racist in denial. But please apologize for those douchey black and yellow polos you guys wear at all the protests and meetups. Black and yellow's taken, bro. It was taken by Wiz Khalifa in 2011 when he released this dope track. Alright, before I get sued, they want to venerate the housewife. They want to revert back to an early 20th century status quo thing. They know it's wrong, which is why they try and fail to convince us that what they're saying isn't what they're actually saying. For example, on their website, they have a huge banner, or did at one point, that stated, we are not the alt-right. Gavin McGines spends a lot of time trying to separate the movement from the alt-right. Look, if you're spending that much energy trying to convince everybody that you're not something, then maybe it's time to take a second look at what you're doing. Besides, what are you so ashamed of? Trump is your guy, right? So, you know, if you're gonna show up to all the rallies, or you're gonna show up to all the protests where the alt-right are, you might as well just call yourself part of the alt-right, man. Oh, but we're not about racists. We allow whoever they want into our group, yet Gavin, was on video saying that he's an Islamophobe. Check it out. So, can we get a debate on the go between you two? I think the Quran is disproportionately violent. Okay, good. Have you read the Quran? No. So, how do you know? Who is the time? No, no, good. I'm kidding. I've never not read the Quran. Okay, tell me what the first thing you read is when you open the Quran. I don't want to disparage 
and then say the wrong thing. No, no, don't say, say what I'm you think. I'm scared of having my no, family don't, murdered. No, no, don't worry about it. Don't so worry. I, the first I know what you're doing. I've been through it a million times. It's pedantic, okay? The problem is, in the Muslim community, there's a disproportionate number of criminal acts going on. There is a disproportionate number. No, not just grooming. Okay, no, no, no. Everything. And I think it's linked to the inbreeding problem in Islam. Yeah, he actually said that. And in the same sentence, probably tries to convince you that he's not racist. Oh, but he's not racist. He just doesn't like a certain religious movement. Look, it's my experience that guys like that see other dudes wearing turbans and they automatically call them a terrorist. It's like instinctual. Guy with turban, terrorist. And usually, guy with turban isn't even fucking Muslim. He's probably a sick. And I don't mean like he had a cold. I mean like he's religious and practice the, the sick. He's religious but practices the sick religion. It still doesn't sound better. Just Google sick. S-I-K-H. Okay? That's what they look like. They grow beards. Anyways, here's a list of people that the Proud Boys, or anybody who claims to be a part of this movement, don't like. They include feminists, of course, anti-fascists. Every time I see these guys, they're always just punching people in the face at protests. I mean, it just doesn't really seem civil. Martin Luther King wasn't going around punching people in the face, you know what I mean? Masturbation's on there because, and this I actually agree with, they believe that a large amount of masturbation leads to not wanting to go out and seek a female partner. I've had my moments. Islam, of course, is on there. Which is the problem, because Islam is followed up by, you guessed it, Nazis. <laughs> That's right. You can't not like Trump and not like Obama at the same time. You gotta either like Islam and not like Nazis, or like Nazis and really not like Islam. You get it? You can't not like both at the same time. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, guess what? Gavin had this really great idea. After Charlottesville and somebody fucking died, he decided he really wanted to separate himself from the rest of the alt-right. He said, okay, you want to be a proud boy and you want to show up to these protests and rallies and hey, we're proud to be white. Let's go beat up some anti-fascist, man. And Gavin says, well, that's what you want to do, fine. But we're going to create this other organization. They're called the Fraternal Order of the Alt-Right. I'm not racist, but I'm going to think racist thoughts. I don't hate women. I just put them down. <laughs> I'm not part of the alt-right. I'm just part of the alt-right. What? No, it's the Fraternal Order of the Alt-Right Knights, or FOAK, F-O-A-K. Yeah, so I think the lesson learned here by studying this organization is be very wary of people that try to have it both ways. That's why I really don't make excuses for Antifa. If they're out there punching people in the faces, well guess what, they're just not doing the right thing. I don't care what they stand for. You think Gandhi would have been out there wearing a mask and punching random dudes in the faces? Oh, I'd love to see that shit. Huh, Gandhi? Look at this guy. Regardless of how you try to spin it, whether you try to have it both ways, whether you try to convince people that you're one thing but you're not, but you're also another thing, sooner or later your true colors are gonna show. And here it is, right here. It's sort of like when your four-year-old tries to beat you up and he's punching your knees and you're going, please stop, please stop saying smash the patriarchy, please stop saying smash capitalism. It's not good for you. I want you to be happy. I want you to be married and have kids. I want you to enjoy yourself. But this feminism, this punching my knees, it's not good for you. I can take it, but it's not good for you. Please stop being liberal. You're hurting yourself. 
Holy shit. Did that guy just literally talk down to a woman on camera? Dude, Gavin, what were you thinking, bro? All right, Fred Flintstone, relax. Look, we all have a lot to learn and a lot to figure out. Are you kidding me? They're making us nice people with penises look bad by running around and scaring people with their penises. Ah, look at my penis. Ah, hey you, put it in your mouth. What's his name, Louis C.K.? Man, I was really disappointed about that. But every time I get disappointed and I'm like, man, you know, Louis C.K. was a great comedian, I just think of him sitting there, staring a girl right in the eyes and masturbating in front of her for no apparent reason. She didn't say anything. She just wore kind of a low cut shirt. As a guy, yeah, it can be intimidating. And on the internet, there's gonna be a lot of things against women. That stuff is spreading like wildfire right now. We're scared to see that women don't depend on us anymore, that we don't have this power over them. But you know what? Fuck that shit, man. Give yourself time to get used to the different temperature. But all this nonsense, it's not gonna get you anywhere, man. It's only a temporary alleviation to what's coming. And trust me, the women, they're coming. <laughs>